says it's doing it. That's good enough, isn't it? Okay, so from all fours is where we're going to start. So you're going to start by just sliding your hips forwards and back. A nice, comfortable, smooth movement. And it can be just a little tiny movement, or it can be a deeper, wider movement if you would prefer. The knees can be a little bit wide, so there's space for your bump and baby. And you just, the only thing you really need to think about is if your pelvis has been uncomfortable, just keeping your knees in more triple. And then you're going to let your weight settle into your hands and your knees, so we're just nice and even. And you're going to start to make a circle with your hips. So a nice, easy circle through the lower back. And you're just going to notice which bits of the movement feel really easy. And are there any areas that feel like they would like to be a little bit more focused or a little bit easier or a little bit more stretchy. So you're allowing yourself to tune into how your body feels and to adapt to that. And then you're going to take your hips round in the opposite direction. Making sure that your breathing stays really relaxed as you move. And then you're going to let your weight settle between both hands. We'll just come back to that nice natural all fours position. So from here, you're going to slide one knee up towards your hand. So this has provided your pelvis has been comfortable. I think we're all okay at the moment for that. So you slide your foot in and then the back leg can just extend away. So you end up sort of sitting on your own leg. And you want to keep your weight between your hands very, very even, and your shoulders even to the floor, and your pelvis even as well. We're going to tuck your toes under at the back, and we're going to bring ourselves back and into our forms. Just have a little ease out with the hips, and then the other leg is going to come up. So you're drawing your knee in, opposite leg extends down, or sends back, shoulders stay relaxing down, and you just ease into it for a minute. And then we're going to tuck our toes under the back. And we're going to come back to a comfortable all fours position. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit more with the hips um, for those of you who would like to. So you're going to slide one knee up, just as we did before. And then this time, you're going to see if your foot wants to come out a little bit. So do you see, instead of coming straight back, my foot's come out towards the edge of the mat. Now, it's so important as you do this, there's absolutely no stretch over the massive whole knee area. The stretch is going to be in your hip. So just make sure that your knee's happy and then you slide your back leg down. But again, weight must be even through the hands. And what you'll start to do is the bent leg, the bent hip, you'll still get, start to get a really, really lovely, strong stretch out through the hip. So you can stay with your shoulders up like this, or if you'd like to, you can ease yourself down so that you end up on your elbows and you can let your head rest down. And this is just so really that you can allow the stretch to get a little bit stronger. So it's almost as if you want to take the weight of your hips very slightly towards the straight leg to get a stronger stretch out through the bent leg or the outside of the bent side. So I must be doing this wrong because I have no space for my bump. <laughs> You've got no space for your bump. You'll have to come much higher than Emma. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with, with, with lots of bump and baby, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to walk yourself back up and onto your hands if you were lower down. You're going to tuck your toes under at the back. And then you're going to slide yourself back into that really long all fours position. And then the opposite leg is going to come up. So the knee is coming in. And then we're going to start to bring your foot out. So your foot will come out towards the edge of your mat a little bit. And then we sink down with the hips. And it's this feeling of drawing down through the hips it's going to get a really strong stretch all the way out through that hip and thigh. So it's really, really good for kind of sciatic type pains or the kind of pains that come down through your legs and from your pelvis in pregnancy and sometimes for people out with pregnancy. And then if you've got space and you would like to, you can bring yourself down onto your elbows 
so that you can really almost like press back into the bent leg hip lovely lovely stretch out you just want to keep it at the level where it feels really really engaging and lovely but still relaxing and then you're going to walk your hands in so that they can't move them all the way up and onto your hand tuck your toes under at the back and then you're going to slide yourself back and into all and from here, just let your body have a little move around. So let your shoulders move, let your hips move. Just notice how would your body like to move just now. Really let your body move. And then weight's going to settle evenly between both hands. You're going to allow your head to hang down. And you're going to slide your weight forwards so that the upper back and across the shoulders start to stretch a little bit. So we're just releasing through the back of the shoulders and the back of the neck just now. And then bring yourself back to a nice neutral position. We're going to do one more thing before we go any further. We're going to tuck our toes under at the back. So it might be that you're right up on the tips of your toes. It might be you want your toes flat. We're going to teach it with your toes tucked under. But it might be also that you want your hips to be high up like this. But the direction that we're going in is of the hips moving back towards the heels so you can rest your hands onto your thighs. You're going to let the shoulders relax down. And then you're going to walk yourself back out. Give one leg a little stretch. And another leg. And we're going to do that one more time. So knees are close-ish together, toes are tucked in if it's comfy. You're walking yourself back towards your heels. And then you're going to let your hands come wide and up. And then you're going to sink them down onto your head. So the hands come down, the elbows become wide. And breathe out. And then stretch up with your fingertips. And then all the way out and down. Walking yourself forward so you can take one leg back and extend it. It's a lovely strong stretch through the back of the leg. Mm. And then you're going to have both knees settled onto the floor. You're going to bring yourself up to standing. So we're going to walk our hands back and up our legs. You're going to let your knees bend and then you're just going to walk your hands up your legs to bring yourself up to standing. I'm going to move the computer away a little bit so that you can see more easily. So to start with, we're going to bring our hands in towards our heart and shoulders going to relax the head. And then inhaling, the hands are going to come up. Exhaling, hands come out and down. So start to go with the rhythm of your breathing. Inhaling up, exhaling out and down. So go with the rhythm of your breath, so go faster or slower, just whatever feels right for you. And then let your shoulders have a little ease out. So just let one shoulder have an ease out and then the other. And then if you bring yourself around facing the short edge of your mat, if you're not already, of course, you're going to take one foot forward. It might be you're taking a little, tiny little step if your hips have been uncomfortable, or it could be a slightly bigger step. You're going to bring your hands in towards your heart. Shoulders are going to relax down. And then you're going to lean yourself up and forward. So you can imagine that the front hip is drawing back a little. And that's what brings you slightly forward. Steady down through your feet to bring yourself up. And then you're going to swap over to the opposite side. So feet a little bit wide or away from one another. 
Hands come in towards your heart, shoulders relax down. Steady with your feet as you lean yourself up and forward. And then press down with both feet to bring yourself up and back to standing. We're going to do a balance pose now, so just make sure you've got a little bit of contact beside you. You can take one hand onto the support, and your other leg is going to see if it wants to come up at the back. It might be that you just have your hand extending towards your foot. It might be that you actually catch hold of your foot, and the knee can move down. Or it might be that you catch hold of trouser leg. Just whichever you want. And if your pelvis is being really unsettled, make sure both feet remain on the floor, or just do a little tiny floating. This one's fairly good for the pelvis and the, the knees and the thighs are staying pretty close. The option from here is to let one hand float up and overhead so we get a wide, easy feeling through the chest. And then bringing your hand back onto the support and release your leg down. And then we're going to come to the opposite side. The leg is going to fold up. Maybe you'll catch hold of it if that would feel good. You're going to let your hand come up and overhead and then gently if you feel good tip yourself slightly forwards so we get that little lift and width across the upper chest and then bring yourself back up to standing onto both feet settled down and onto the floor you're going to come to your first side again so you're going to take that one leg up again so exactly as we had it before Hands going to come up and overhead if it wants to. This time, can you get the feeling it's almost like you're lifting up towards the ceiling through the supported side? So the supporting leg and through the lifted arm, you can get lots of feeling of the leg. And then bring your hand down, bring your leg. Down. And then coming to the opposite side. So catching hold of the leg if it feels comfortable. Pelvis is happy. Free hand is going to come up and overhead. And then imagine you can stand into the supported foot, lift up through the open side of your body. And then bring your hand down onto the support again if that would be good for you. And then let your leg come down. You're going to take both hands onto the support that you've got beside you. Try to make sure it's not too low down and you're going to take your hips, your feet a little bit wide, you're going to bend your knees and you're going to start to sway your hips from one side to the other side. So this is a bit like pigeon pose where we had one leg in and then the other. Really good for being able to stretch into one hip as you take it both to one side and then to the other. It's a really nice way to release your lower back as well because in pregnancy there are many, many poses that don't really work. Uh, so this is a really, really good way to find a way to release your back muscles and help the body in back. So you're going to bring your hips back to the centre and then you're going to bring yourself up to standing. So feet just settle back to just a natural distance. We're going to come down to sitting now. So if you want to bring yourself to sitting with a block if you would like so that you're going to be comfortable on the floor. So from here, so with the knees out in front, you're going to take one knee and either the leg is just going to fold out just a tiny little bit, if your pelvis has been unsettled, or you're going to bring your foot higher in towards you, if your hip would like this, so if your pelvis has been comfortable. And this front knee might need to be a little bit bent so that you feel comfortable and your lower back can lengthen up. And then from here, you're going to take both hands onto your straight leg and you're going to start to lean yourself forward. So you're leaning forward slowly, and it's almost like you're extending back through your hips, so that again, a bit like pigeon pose, we're getting that wide out across the back of the open leg stretch. 
So you're just easing yourself forward so you can start to feel that width and space coming through the back of your pelvis. You're going to bring yourself up your legs to bring yourself up to sitting. And then we're going to swap over so the other leg is going to come in. You're going to let your hands settle onto your straight leg. And then ease yourself up and forward. So remember in pregnancy, you'll go not curling down and taking space away from the baby. We're always keeping with that lots of space over your bump and baby. So we're just leaning the shoulders up and forward. And again, you're going to get that nice feeling of width across the back of your pelvis whilst you're here. And then walking your hands up your legs to bring yourself up to sitting. And we're going to come to that first leg just one more time. So you're going to bring one leg bent in or your second, first side again. Hands are on your straight leg. You're easing yourself up and forwards. Toes can just gently come towards you on the straight leg. So the front leg stays a little bit active and it's a little bit of a stretch through the back. Which is really good before you're going to sleep to make the, sure that the back of the ankles lengthen out in the calves. And then walking your hands up to come in. And we're going to swap over so we even up so we do our second side. Hands are on your thigh. Leaning yourself up and forwards. Toes gently come up and towards you. The upper body is just relaxed and soft. But we've got a really lovely lengthening and width across the back of the pelvis. And a lengthening through the back of the legs and, and or that straight leg and into the sole. And then bringing hands all the way back up so that you can take both legs out and be a little bit bent. Your hands are going to rest onto your legs and you're going to keep with the space over your bump and baby, but you're going to allow your head to come down so the chin comes in and out across the shoulders. Really. And then we're going to come to do a little bit of breathing. So if you want to bring yourself to a comfortable seated position, 